Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Commander Keen Invasion of the Vorticons. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and we're getting to the tail end of things here. This could end up being the last video. If it is, you probably already know. So let's see... <laughs> okay. See that onk? And it turns out the barbed wire does in fact hurt. Okay, I did not know that. I think that one's gone. Uh, but yes, I am just going to go ahead and grab all of that. Yes, I have a ton of ammo. Oh wow! I got multi hits on that one. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Okay, I can get to that from here, so. Let's just. Yet. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thanks, I got lucky there. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just go fly right on by there. Ah, dang it. Yeah, got to me. Oh. Okay. Not sure what I need that yellow key card for, because I can just do this. Pretty sure that Ankh is a requirement to get through here. And I am well aware of that. Yes. I'm wondering if I should have tried to go up top. Oh, my God. 
Oh, really? You got me. You had me right at the end. Mm. That's rude. That is rude. I hope that one's not following me. Their their act their level of activity seems to depend on horizont their horizontal relationship to me. That that I forgot about you somehow. Oh, I see. There's a whole lot of cake up there. Ah, uh, but I'm wondering if I go topside, if there's like a shortcut to the end or something. Curiosity beckons. Okay. Of course, it all kind of relies on me actually, you know, making that jump, which is not a simple thing, it turns out. platform. Okay. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I should have waited, but no, I was too much in a room. Too much of a rush. But if nothing else, I am getting ammo profit. My life count is still good. It's probably a good idea to get as much point stuff as I can, just so I can keep my life life counts halfway decent. Ah, oh, I thought I, I, I thought I could get in there, but no. Uh oh. My shot. One of my shots got intercepted. Oh, 
Oh boy. Uh, okay, okay. I'm safe. I'm safe now. So, if I can jump up through that gap, then I'm curious to see... Nope, nope. I'm curious to see uh, what's up there. If there's anything up there. Or, you know what? Nah. I'll just, I'm just gonna move on. Life count's getting pretty low. I should. I'm, I'm gonna restart. Well, that's a great start. Oh, <laughs> 
Aha! Okay, that got me here. Mostly out of spite, but there we go. Uh, and I did restart at some point. My life count was starting to worry me a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, so, we have reached the Caves of Oblivion. This place is a thing. I am going to go ahead and pull up a picture of this place. So you can see what kind of place this thing actually is. As you can see, this place is rather large. It's full of enemies, grunts and uh, Vorda ninjas, uh, balls and jacks. You need all four key cards. There are spikes everywhere, and uh, I don't think I don't know how well you can see it, but the exit door is in the bottom right. And there are spikes in the way. So even if you're able to get all the four key cards and the green one in note round on the right edge near the middle, there's enough spikes there to make that a harrowing experience. So even if you're able to get all four key cards, you can't actually be the stage that way. But if you look up uh, uh, on the right edge, you'll see there's a second door. And there's also a sign that right here that says, go up. So let's go do that. And this is how you beat the Caves of Oblivion. Not by going through the whole thing. But by uh, circumnavigating the whole darn place. As such, no, you will not be seeing me try to navigate the whole thing because you can't actually beat the stage that way. And I'm just going to... I am amazed I actually made that jump, and as such, I ended up screwing it up afterwards. But I saw some... There's some plushies up there. And yes, I do want that. More lives is always good. See, it doesn't feel like I should be able to make that jump there. Guaranteed life and a half. And there is uh, some ammo caches over here, but, you know, with all the spikes going on, I'd rather not. I think my ammo situation is just fine. And so this is the final boss. Yes, it is a boss. But there is one other level that I want to show off. And it involves uh, Messi that we've seen meandering about. But we have to wait for Messi to actually show up, so I guess I'll cut ahead to that. There we go. And it looks like this place has poles too, which makes sense, because, you know, it would be weird if a, for a planet to not have poles without some weird, uh, without some weird uh, axial tilt stuff going on. Uh, 
All right, and um, no, I cannot control this happy little guy. We're just meandering our way through. We saw, we saw that other, where that other stage is. Now it's just a matter of actually. There we go. Let's see what this place has. First things first. Up here. We have... The full, uh... The full standard galactic alphabet. Another life's worth of plushies. Right. Yeah, so this is the full translation. For those who care about such things, I guess. Alright. Now for the actual stage, which I don't recall just how big this area is. Uh, you know what, my, I'll, I'll take a look around. Uh, well, even if I die here, I'm getting a profit. Now it's just a matter of how dangerous things are around here. Wow. Yeah, I'll just take all these, all these extra lives, sure, why not? I thought there would be enemies or something up down here, but if there if there are, I am skillfully dodging them. Uh, what about up here? Since I'm definitely dodging the exit door. Plushy, a bit more ammo. Ammo is looking pretty good. Um, you know what? I got such a big life profit. I'm not even gonna reload. I'm just going to. I'm at least gonna pick up the ammo that was over here. Since that was that was a good bit of stuff there. Dang it. I'll at least have the area marked as marked as done. Not sure how much else there was to be shown, but you know that's fine. And. It was just long enough for Messi to be on her uh, on her merry way. I'll I'll see you when I get back to the back to the mainland. All right, then just go ahead and save here, and let's see who uh, who this M person is. No. It can't be Mortimer McMire. Mortimer has been a thorn in your side for as long as you can remember. Your IQ test score was 314. Mortimer's was 315. He always held that over you, never letting you forget for one day. 
All the practical jokes, the mental cruelty, the swirlies. Each memory makes your teeth grit harder. And now he's out to destroy Earth. You have had enough. All right, Mortimer. What's the problem? Why destroy Earth? You and all those mental wimps deserve to die. I'm the smartest person in the galaxy. Aren't I, Mr. 314? <laughs> I'll get you for that, Mortimer. Come and try. You'll never get past my hideous mangling machine. Prepare to die, Commander Clown. Okay then. Okay, thankfully I can just... Oh, yeah, I get points for this. Cool. I'll have to look and see how many points I get for uh, for this stuff. So I'm at 70... 74,000... 7... More 740,000, but yeah. Thankfully, I can skip through this. But somehow, I am just not noticing those shots those things fire off. Oh, looks like they give me a thousand. Okay, so the gears are a no-go. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so... Okay, so I can't be on those things when they move at all. Good, that's good information, actually. Oh, boy. Uh... Getting those bottom ones is going to be an issue, I think. Ah, of course, that was time just right to be in my way. And I apologize for the noise. There's not much I can do about that. Just think of it as part of the uh, mental anguish that Mortimer is subjecting us to.
There we go. Uh, my ammo is fine. It's always going to be fine. At least I'm... At least I'm, uh... I'm getting there. Come on. Right there. And... I... I missed that up. At least I saved doing that before starting this, so if I happen to run out of lives or ammo... There we go. If I run out of lives or ammo, I can just restart. I... I don't know why I thought that cycle would be good. Apparently I did this often enough. Oh jeez, I'm still at maxed out lives. I think those shock the the sound waves block my shots too. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm I'm convinced that those sound wave those sound waves block my shots. There we go. Did that count? No, it didn't count! Dang it! Oh. I got... I got Kaizo trapped. Darn it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah.
course, I'm pretty sure I can't actually hit those things in the center. I don't know if, uh... Okay, that, that works. Gotcha! Oof! I don't remember that fight being quite that bad. With Mortimer McMire out of the picture and his brainwave belts no longer controlling them, the Vorticons are freed of their mental enslavement. Commander Keen, in honor of your meritorious service in freeing us from the Grand Intellect's mental chains, I and the other Vorticons you haven't slaughtered want to award you the Big V, our highest honor. Thank you. Yeah, of course, it's got to be goofy and funny all the way to the end. The end for now. Congratulations! You have finished the final episode in the Commander Keen Trilogy. As you play, did you find the Secret City in Episode 1? Yes. Journey to the Secret Island in this episode? Yes. Write down the Galactic Alphabet and read all the signs in all three episodes. I meant to, but no I didn't. Uh... And that, uh... That brings, uh, this LP to a close. So, uh, yeah, episode three was kind of rough at points, mostly because, uh, partly because of the platforming, partly because of the Vorta Ninjas being a thing, and the, the Vorticon Mothers, too. Uh, I do, I do have, uh, the second Commander Keen's, uh, series, uh, I believe it was I believe it's called Goodbye Galaxy uh episodes 4 and 5 and I am looking forward to that but it's different enough in visuals and in mechanics and such that I I deem it worthy of being its own separate project. There are a couple other keen games uh specifically Keen Dreams and I believe it's Aliens Kidnap My Babysitter I think it was called. But I, I honestly, I have no real interest in doing those. I've never actually played them, and they're pretty much standalone stuff. So even if I did uh, record them, they wouldn't really have that much meat to them, I wouldn't think, just without actual knowledge about the games as a whole. Because you saw just in general how short these uh, these episodes are, just in terms of number of videos it took me to do it. So, I, I might change my mind later, but as of now, I have no plans on doing either of those. In the meantime, a couple of different worlds have been saved from the forces of evil and overall pettiness. One day, a new evil will make itself known, and when that day comes, I will be here. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.